Amphibia is undoubtedly one of the most relevant cartoons right now. There's a lot of extremely good stuff out there at the moment, but Amphibia is an absolute all-rounder. It's got a little bit of everything and is generally so entertaining to watch because you feel like you're exploring the wonderful world of Amphibia together with Anne. Resulting from the tremendous amount of love and detail that is poured into the show, there are many facts that actually go unnoticed. Today we're taking a look at a whole 20 canon and behind the scenes facts. Anne Boon Choi was created based on Matt Brawley's grandmother. He remembered an old photo of her as a kid and was inspired by her wild looking hair. Obviously, he only knew his grandmother as an adult, but he stated that Anne's personality is what he imagines his grandmother was like as a kid. Probably partly for this reason, Anne is Matt's favorite character. Anne is the very first animated main character of Thai American origin. Lately, Disney has been getting more open to other ethnicities and sexualities, etc. And it's truly awesome to see representation of all kinds in today's media. The leaves in Anne's hair are permanent, kind of. She's got them in her hair all the time, what makes it seem like she doesn't care about them and just leaves them there. But in fact, she takes them out every single night. It's just that the second she steps outside again, new leaves get stuck in her hair, resulting in a constantly leafy hairstyle. Amphibia's main island is supposedly about the size of Australia, though Matt also added that this is just a vague comparison and that they'd make Amphibia as big as it needs to be throughout the story. Leopold Loggles is currently the only known axolotl in the show so far. The school Anne goes to, the St. James Middle School, is the same school Matt Brawley attended. Sasha's personality is predicated on a former friend of Matt's. He has made some unpleasant experiences in the past that later shaped the Sasha we know today. In addition to that, the relationship between Anne and Sasha is inspired by the relationship between some berserk characters. Unfortunately, Matt hasn't revealed which characters he had in mind and I haven't seen berserk. Feel free to drop a comment if you have an idea. Amphibia's cast is legendary. So many of the voice actors can look back on an amazing acting and voice acting career, ranging from cartoons to anime dub and games. Some of the most mentionable are Brenda Song, aka London Tipton from Suit Life with Zack and Cody, Bill Farmer, aka Goofy, Matt Brawley, whom I do not have to introduce to you. Eden Regal, who is currently also doing some work on the Owl House. Kristen Shaw, aka Gravity Falls Mabel Pines. Lastly, because Disney couldn't find a suiting voice actress that was fluent in Thai, Anne's mother is voiced by Matt's mother. The poses General Yunnan strikes all the time are derived from the infamous, infinite source of memes Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. King Andrea's character design is inspired by Dark Souls King Vendrick. The show's foundation originally originated from Matt's childhood experiences in Bangkok. Since a very young age, he's been visiting his family in Thailand every year. And he used to feel somehow out of place being there because everything was so different from the US. He reflects these emotions in Anne being a stranger in Amphibia. By the end of his visits, he mostly didn't want to go home though, because he grew attached to the country and the people. Amphibia was initially supposed to be called Amphibiland. The name was only changed because of legal reasons, since an existing graphic novel already goes by that name. Before Amphibiland, the first suggestion was Amphibian. Besides that, the show is not plainly called Amphibia in all countries where the show started airing. While some countries went with Amphibia, a few others adjusted the title. Anne likes to read manga, like for example Oran High School House Club and Ranma. Amphibia is animated by three different South Korean studios that use traditional hand drawn animation methods. That was one of the few things Matt insisted on during production, because it gives the show an individual and natural flair. The soundtrack was mostly composed by TJ Hill, who also created the intro and credit theme song for The Owl House. The first few episodes aired with the opening song's lyric version. Disney originally ordered that the lyrics are written for the opening, but after a few episodes Matt was able to convince Disney to use the instrumental version instead, because he felt that the lyric version didn't fit quite quite right into Amphibia's natural dash. The reason why Amphibia came to be Amphibia, inhabited by frogs and toads, is that as a kid, Matt was fascinated by his father's collection of frog specimens. And he also thinks that frogs are pretty cute. You can find a series of animated Amphibia shorts on YouTube. These videos are about 30 seconds long.
long and each of them features the main characters animated in chibi style in a situation that the production team came up with but didn't think they'd be able to base a whole episode on. There is an amphibia RPG. It's named Locus Pocus and has an original non-canon storyline. Anne and Sprig have to take on many quests in Wordwood in order to get the citizens to like Hop again after he got himself into trouble. The game is available in the Disney Now app. The idea for the episode Taking Charge sprung from the production team's own irritation about Anne's phone battery not dying despite not being charged for so long. For more interesting Amphibia content, consider subscribing to Frogtoons. See you next time.